We're following breaking news out of Baltimore County tonight where an investigation is underway after multiple people are stabbed at the Hunt Valley Town Center. Police tell WJZ five victims are recovering tonight. Officers say the suspect is dead after a police involved shooting. New video just obtained by WJZ shows officers following a man believed to be the suspect. Officers say this started as a call of a person loitering and the situation escalated. The video shows officers surrounding the man and then you can hear shots being fired. We had paused the video before the man falls to the ground. WJZ is live team coverage. Let's go over now to Stetson Miller right now with the latest on how the incident unfolded. Stetson. Hey, Eva Joy, we're here at the intersection of McCormick and Shawan Road where the suspect was shot by police. Police gave us a little bit of information about what happened here today just a short while ago. But first, we want to again show you that video uh, that shows the moments before the suspect was shot. Again, we're choosing not to show the moment when he was shot, but you can see police aiming their weapons at the suspect and following him. This evening, officials said they first got a call around 143 about someone uh, that was 143 in the afternoon about someone who was demanding money from people at a liquor store. They were reported to also be aggressive and threatening. Four people were later stabbed at that liquor store, and then another person was stabbed nearby in front of the Noodles and Company restaurant. All of the victims have non-life-threatening injuries and were transported to different area local hospitals. Police said while well, there were initially reports of the suspect having a box cutter, they later, later confirmed that the weapon used was actually a knife and it was about three inches long. An off-duty EMS captain was shopping in the area at the time of the stabbing and did provide aid to uh, the victims until first responders arrived. When officers arrived, they found the suspect here at Shawan Road and McCormick Road, and that's where police say they were forced to shoot the suspect. They did not say how many shots were fired, but will be reviewing body camera video as they continue to investigate this incident. Again, five people were stabbed here today. They all are recovering with non-life-threatening injuries, and the suspect is deceased. We're live here at Hunt Valley Town Center. Stetson Miller for WJZ. Stetson, thank you. Baltimore County Executive John Yoshevsky issued a statement on the incident saying, in part, we're extremely grateful that the injuries to the innocent people who were stabbed in an apparent random incident appear to be relatively minor. I want to thank the Baltimore County Police Department for a speedy response and resolution to a very scary situation. And our live team coverage continues now with Pat Warren. She's also live in Hunt Valley right now and spoke with witnesses who watched how this incident unfolded. Pat. Well, we were able to talk with three friends who were in the store at the time that the man came in and this terrible situation occurred. We spoke to them by phone. Employees were kind of frantic, like he's back again, from my perspective. And then next thing you know, someone screamed that there's a, he has a knife, he has a knife. Um, and it kind of got a little crazy from that point. Um, and... My first instinct was to pull up my phone and call 911, but someone said they've already called 911 because the man was there before. So we left the store. We ended up going outside of the place, and um, on the road, from, you can see on the left at the intersection that the man was down, and there were probably eight to a dozen cops, and at least one was running away, probably looking for uh, for uh, first aid, but it looks like they were assisting the man on the ground. But yeah, at least three shots. And then when it first happened in the store, uh, when they screamed knife, Ryan grabbed a wine bottle. There was and multiple people did. And happen. multiple employees were all grabbing glass bottles of liquor and wine, like chasing the man. And then he ran out of the store. And then he ran out the back door of the store. Customers who found the store closed were shocked to hear what happened. Oh, my. Oh, timing is everything. I'm glad we weren't here this afternoon. Oh, my oh. Lord. We just came for beer. I mean, we we didn't know this. We just pulled up. We didn't realize this all happened. This is amazing. That is horrendous. Oh, my goodness. You never know. It's totally shocking. Yeah, I mean, I know this neighborhood well, and I'm just, I'm amazed. And everyone is happy that there were no serious injuries to the people who were stabbed. I'm Pat Warren reporting live from Hunt Valley. Now back to you. Now to recap, here's what we know so far. Five people are recovering after a stabbing at the Hunt Valley Town Center. Detectives say the victim's injuries are non-life-threatening. Police say this all started at the liquor store when a suspect made threats with a knife and demanded money. Police later shot and killed that suspect. 
Of course, stay with WJZ for more of this developing story. We will bring you updates live on air and also at WJZ.com.